Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. And Tori, we were just talking off the air about how something that we have noticed personally is that during this time of COVID-19 and all of the lockdown restrictions and the stay-at-home orders where people have not been able to get together with friends and family and even strangers, that whenever you have any sort of visual contact with someone, people seem to be a little bit kinder these days. So you've been noticing this in your neighborhood. Tell me how. You always notice it with dog walkers because we have to go outside. We got to keep taking walks for our dogs. And uh, you can see even though the face mask is covering someone's mouth, you can tell that they're smiling by their eyes. And I think people are being more friendly, more happy, more smiling and waving and just general thoughtfulness towards neighbors than ever before. I totally agree. Yesterday I was on a walk and I spotted a, from across the street, there was a woman um, at a bus stop and she had one of those walker things with her and she was just sort of dazing off into the distance waiting for her bus to come along and I felt like, now I'm a little bit like this anyway, you're not going to stand in front of me or behind me in line at the grocery store without getting me to say something to you. I want to talk to everybody. But uh, this woman saw her across the street. It was sort of a busy street, as busy as things are, can be on a busy street right now. And uh, so I was aggressively, hi, hi, <laughs> waving my hands, hi, hi there. And then she looked startled and I think I may have scared her. But Probably. I got a smile. I got a smile off of her. And it's also, I gotta say, you know, we talk about how when you smile, you don't just smile with your mouth, you smile with your eyes. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing that as everyone has face masks on, you can tell a little bit if somebody's smiling by if their eyes squinch up a little bit because their mouths are covered in a lot of cases. So anyway. I wonder if you can smile with your nose. No, I'm pretty sure you can't. But I did see this thing on the interwebs the other day where this lady did this makeup trick. I gotta send, I'll send this to everybody if I can find it again. She did this makeup trick where she painted her nose to look like a little nose and a mouth. <laughs> so, so the tip of her nose and right under her nose was painted like lips. And then she put uh, like a, a big turtleneck over her actual mouth. <laughs> So it looked like she had a tiny face. She looked like she had big eyes, teeny <coughs> tiny nose, tiny lips, and this, it, it looked, I'd never seen anything like this before, and she was able to smile with her nose. Her nostrils were a part of the mouth. I'll send this to you. It was so good. But that's not what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about is all of these little surprising ways that people are finding ways to connect and be kind to each other that don't even involve the Internet. And I'm talking about a story out of Manhattan, New York, to be specific, where there's a college student named Lillian Kogan, and she is at home. She's under stay-at-home orders. New York City is not the easiest place to get around and get outside right now with, you know, and not be around too many people. So people are really staying in their homes and apartments. And she looked across her, out the window, and she could see another apartment uh, when she looked out her window. And there was another window, and she didn't know the people who lived there, but she was determined to connect with them anyway. So she posted a little post-it note in the window that just said, hi. And then later on, another uh, paper came in the window. And, the, and she wasn't standing with it. She just stuck it on the window. And then later on, she walked past the window and saw that the people in that apartment had left a piece of construction paper on the window that said, hi back. And then she wrote another note saying, how are you doing? And they said, fine, how are you doing? And these are all through paper, little notes left on the window. And, uh, and then one day she realized that the, the person who lived in that house was sunbathing on her little balcony, and she realized it was an elderly woman. So she went back and she said, um, do, you, can you, do you need any food? Do you have enough food to eat? And the woman wrote back on a piece of paper, yes. And keep in mind, she's only seeing the paper. She's not seeing the woman except for seeing her bathe, sunbathing that one time. And, um, and it turns out the woman who lived in the other apartment, she's 84 years old. Her name is Tony Sonnet. And uh, they have become little apartment pen pals. So all because of the power of a post-it note and some pieces of construction paper, they're writing little notes back and forth to each other, apartment to apartment. 
And according to Tony Sonnet, the 84-year-old, she says, it's been a sweet source of entertainment and friendship. Isn't that sweet? I would watch the movie adaptation of this in a heartbeat. Me too. I just love this. And I really think that they should make one of those little zip lines from apartment to apartment with a little little thing and you could like a bucket yeah like a little bucket and apparently uh, lisa the t the college student made them um made made them some co or made her some cookies so she made baked some cookies and then she safely got the cookies to the older woman but i just love that they have a little friendship that was probably not ever going to be a thing until this time so good things are still coming out of this time uh, amidst all the the sadness that is also coming out mm -hmm.